So welcome to our wellness activity for today. My name is Suzette O'Byrne. I'm the recreation manager here at the Glencoe Club. And I'm also a yoga instructor and yoga therapist. Our wellness activity today is going to be yoga. Uh, we don't need any props or anything other than the floor and maybe a blanket. So to get started, I would invite you to just lay on your back with maybe something underneath your head. And if that feels better, um, and then to have your knees bent, arms resting down by your side, and we're just going to check in and see where our body's at right now. So take a few deep breaths in and long exhales and feel your body settling down into the ground. What parts of your body are resting on the ground? Can you feel the shoulder blades equal on the ground, the pelvis equal left and right? Maybe the top of the pelvis or maybe the bottom of the pelvis, the tailbone. Also, do you have more weight on your right arm than your left arm? So how does your body rest into the ground? Filling the lungs up, feel how the breath moves inside the body. So feel the way the rib cage expands, the way the torso moves. Checking in, seeing what's there today. And then we're gonna to start to move with our breath. So at the inhale, just feel the lungs fill up. And on your exhale, let the head drop to one side, bringing the ear towards the floor. Inhale, the head back center. Exhale, the head to the other side. Inhale, back center. And repeat left and right, moving at your speed of breath. As the breath changes direction, let the movement change direction. Notice the way the rib cage moves. Maybe even you can feel the breath on one nostril a little bit more than the other. Releasing the neck. Starting to warm up the body. And then finishing this cycle, bringing the head back center. Exhale and just rest in this spot. And then inhale one arm up and over your head to the floor above you. Exhale that arm back down to your side, left and right. Inhale the arm up, exhale back down. And as you do so, see if you can feel how the rib cage opens on that side. Can you keep the pelvis very still and allow the movement to be into the shoulder, into the rib cage, lengthening the spine from the shoulder, from the top. One more time each side. And then switching to both arms. Keeping the pelvis very still, the bottom of the rib cage reaching down towards the pelvis, the arms reaching up and over your head to the floor above you, exhaling back down to your side. And one more time. And then bringing those arms down to the ground, 
Moving your feet so they're in line with your sit bones or your buttocks. Taking out any prop that may be underneath your head as we lift the body up on the inhale. Exhale, lengthen your spine, reaching your tailbone to your heels as you come down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale and come down, keeping the shoulders on the ground, the arms relaxed. Equal pressure in the both the left and the right foot. As you come up, feel the buttocks activate, the hips opening in the front. Exhale, reach the tailbone towards the heels. And then we're going to put all those movements together. So now, this is just to wake up your brain. Inhale your hips up, one arm up, and exhale the hips and the arm down. Turn the head to look over the other shoulder. Inhale the head center, reach that arm over your head. Exhale, bring the hips and the arm down, bring the head over to the other side. Inhale up. Exhale, look over the other shoulder. Feel equal weight on both left and right foot. And one more time, each side. Bring the head back center on your inhale. Exhale, drop the knees to one side. Inhale them back up. Keeping the head center, just moving from the lower part of the spine, warming up the spine. So not needing to take this twist too deep. Almost more of a massaging action for the low back and the SI joint. Exhale, the legs to one side. Inhale, back up center. And then turning the head the opposite direction. So it's in effect, we're wringing out the spine. Shoulder blades stay still. One more time, each side. Bringing the legs back center, holding on to those legs. Exhale and just gently pull the legs towards the chest. Inhale and release. And one more time, exhale, draw those knees towards the body, letting the spine lengthen underneath you. Inhale and release. Bringing your feet down to the ground. We're going to roll over onto one side, coming up into a kneeling position. And in this position, I always love to have a blanket underneath my knees. So you can place anything you'd like underneath you there to soften the ground. From here, exhale, round into the spine. Inhale, and let the spine come towards the ground. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Inhale, and feel the body coming through the shoulders and the tailbone coming up towards the spine, uh, up towards the sky. Now from here, we can start to move the body forward as well with it. So exhale, moving the spine back towards the heels. Inhale and coming forward. Exhale, round through the back. Inhale and coming forward. Notice the weight that you're putting on the wrist 
If you feel like it's uncomfortable for you, just move those hands a little bit further. What that will do is allow us to lengthen out the spine, get the rounding more throughout, throughout the mid part of the back and the lower back versus a hunched over aspect and allow us to target into areas in the spine that gets tight from sitting. And last one. Coming back center. From here, we're going to move the spine around in a circle. So I like to think of this, it's called cement mixer, so it's like you are a cement mixer but it's kind of like scraping the inside wall of the pita butter jar. So feel your spine scraping that giant wall of peanut butter. You can move the elbows, bend the elbows. There's no wrong way to do this. It's just to loosen up the spine in all directions. And then reversing and going the other way, exploring the movements in three dimensions. So we're trying to get all those aspects of our shoulders, spine, and hips to release in all planes of motion. And then coming back center, we're going to bring the toes together, reach your hips back, and lengthen out the spine behind you. Inhale, come back and up. We're going to come up to stand now. So you can move your blanket or towel out of the way. You can fix your hair. <laughs> and then <laughs> we'll get started standing. All right. So we're going to introduce you to um, something that was taught to me years ago. It's called the Palm Tree Series. And it's very grounding. It is also very... Um, good for the shoulders and the neck and it's a very simple routine that you can do in about three to five minutes and it's a great posture break so we're going to start in a standing position i'd like you to focus first on your stance so think about your feet underneath you lift up your toes spread them as wide as you can place the big toe down and then place all the other toes as wide as you can from here Roll the shoulders back, draw the rib cage in, feel your posture as it is right now, and just notice the way that you're standing left and right. So is there more weight on your left foot versus your right? As we keep on coming back to this position, we'll be able to see how it's changing. So from this position, we take a deep breath in and lift our arms up over our heads. Exhale, bring your shoulders down. Inhale, rise up onto your toes, lean back, slightly balancing for a moment. Exhale, reach your heels down as you reach your arms up. From here, inhale, reach up. Exhale, drop the shoulders down. Then exhale to one side. Inhale, back up. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, back up. Exhale and turn, pressing both feet into the ground. Inhale, back center. Exhale and turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, bring your hands halfway down. Inhale, turn your palms up and reach them out. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward bend halfway, lengthening the spine towards me. Inhale your hands forward. Exhale them back out to the side. And then inhale everything up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands down into the chest. Inhale, lengthen the chest up towards the sky. Exhale, round down through your spine and fold down over your legs. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, down over the legs. Inhale, everything up, body, arms. Exhale, and drop those arms behind you. Clasp the arms and reach the hands down. Inhale, lengthen the spine up. Exhale, forward bend. 
Inhale, back up. Exhale, you're going to grab the elbows or maybe the wrists. Inhale, open the collarbones. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, back up. Exhale, and release the hands. So that's the palm tree series. So check in again. See where is the weight in your feet left and right? How does your shoulder and neck feel? How do your arms feel? We're gonna do that again. So again, checking in with your feet. Feel your weight equal under the base of the big toe, the base of the little toe, the heel, and then press down with the big toe, gently lay the little toes down. This time as we go through, I'd like you to focus on your pelvis. So as we do movements like rotating, notice whether or not your pelvis is shifting. So then that takes the weight off of the um, foot on the outside. So can you keep that core connected so the pelvis can turn, but the weight stays centered into the feet? That'll make you activate into your core a little bit. So starting with the arms down, we've already got our posture. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, bring your shoulders down. Inhale, rise up onto your toes. Exhale, bring your heels down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, shoulder blades come down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn. Really focusing on the core, the stabilization. Inhale, back center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, arms out to the side. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, your hands over your head. Exhale them out to the side. Inhale, everything up. Exhale, hands into the chest. Inhale, open up the front of the body. Exhale, fold down over the legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway up. Exhale, fold down over the legs. Inhale, everything up, the body, the arms. Exhale, bring those arms behind you, clasping the fingertips. Inhale, lengthen the front of the body. Exhale, fold down over the legs. Inhale, back up. Exhale, grabbing onto the wrists or the elbows. Inhale, open the collarbones. Exhale, rotate to one side. Inhale, back center. Exhale, over to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward bend over the legs. Inhale, back up. Exhale, and release the hands. So we're gonna do that one more time. In yoga, there's this thing we do. We do everything three times. This is our third time. Feel how your body has been changing as we go through. So how does your posture feel now? Is it starting to open up the collarbones? Are you starting to feel weight a little bit more centered between the left and the right side? How is your pelvis sitting on top of those legs? And really notice whether or not the neck has shifted. Okay, last time. Inhale, bring the hands up. Exhale, bring your shoulders down. Inhale, rise up onto the toes, lean back slightly. Exhale, draw those heel down, feel the posture. Inhale, lengthen the side of the body. Exhale, bring the shoulders down. Inhale, stay. Exhale, over to one side. Inhale, back center. Exhale, lengthening to one side. 
Inhale, center. Exhale the arms out. Inhale, lengthen the arms. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale your arms over your head. Exhale them out to the side. Inhale everything up. Exhale, bring your hands into your heart. Inhale, lengthen the front of the body. Exhale, roll down over the legs. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, fold down over the legs. Inhale, everything up. Exhale, bring those hands behind you. Clasping the hands, inhale, lengthen the front of the body. Exhale, fold down over the legs. Inhale, back up. Exhale, grabbing onto the elbows. Inhale, lengthen the collarbones. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, back center. And exhale and release the arms. So that's the palm tree series. Feel how your body is settling into the ground. Um, has it changed? How does your neck and shoulders feel? And are you ready to come back down onto the ground? So let's come back down into the ground to let everything settle into our bodies. You can place that blanket back underneath your head or towel or whatever you've got. From here, I'm going to roll down. Assess now as we come back into this position, how do you rest on the ground? So has it changed from the beginning of our session together? Feel the way the breath is moving inside of you? Is it expanding into newer or greater areas? And just to finish off with a nice ending long twist, we're gonna bring your left ankle to your right knee, arms outstretched, you're gonna drop both the right and the left leg towards the right. Head faces center, reaching those arms out. Point that knee up towards the ceiling. So rather than bringing it down, I invite you instead to lengthen it back the other way. Opening up into the hip flexor, across through the outside of the hip, but also into the waist. Take a deep breath here and a long exhale. And then bring those legs back center, switching over to the other side. Align the pelvis so it's centered, right ankle to the left knee, dropping both legs over to the left right knee points up towards the ceiling, arms outstretched. Shoulder blades stay on the ground. That knee points up towards the ceiling, lengthening out through the hip, the outer part of the hip, hip um, hitting the hip flexor and also into the waist on that right side. Deep breath in, long exhale. Bring the legs back up center. One tiny little bridge, lift those hips up just about halfway, lengthen the spine out, maybe lift up the head and lengthen it away from the tailbone. And then you're gonna take your legs out straight or you can leave them bent. Arms can either rest down by your side or they can just rest on your abdomen. From here, scanning through the body and feeling where your body's at right now. 
This section of the class allows all of the movements and releasing and lengthening to settle into your body. Give yourself permission to just be still for a moment in your day. Feel the breath in your body. Where does it go? There's nothing to do here. There's nothing to change. Allow yourself to simply be. And then taking a deep breath in, a long exhale, starting to let movement enter back into your body, moving in a way that feels right for you right now, letting that movement increase, at your time, roll over onto your side. Pressing yourself up into a seated position. Coming into a seated position that feels right and comfortable for you. Letting your hands rest in front of you. Once again, feel the breath in your body. knowing we can choose peace and stillness even with the eyes opened by focusing on our breath. Namaste. So I want to thank you for joining me today. Thank you.